All right. We're going to do exactly what we did last week and only really go 10 to 20 floors. Because otherwise it just whew, drains you really, really bad. Also, after reviewing last week's archive, we're going to go like this. Let's double check. 37 items. At some point, I should probably switch Elucidator to the main hand. Because I'm pretty sure they got rid of the thing where, uh... Main hand skills were the only one activated. Plus, we could just have that weapon be way better. That's too early. Ooh, that was fast. We never get this lucky. Okay, corridor gate. Oh, only one, really? It's not worth the SP drain. Not that it would really do anything, but yeah. Corridor gate. There it is. Boom. One of these days, I need to get True Blue or somebody in here for uh, extra commentary because I am not entertaining when playing this game. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about in this dungeon. Oh, hello. Ah. That's a mimic, so we can go ahead and leave him there. Ah, oh, crap. Are you trapped? I can't tell from here. No, but you're uh, not going to be the key.
Man, I never get tired of this thing soundtrack. Ooh, big tree, big tenant. Oh, that's bad. Why do tenants aggro so easily? What is this game? Sword art. <laughs> Hollow realization. Okay, let's wait for that. Uh... Oh, is he still aggroed? Are you kidding me? Watch that be the corridor gate. We're gonna have to kill him. This tanky piece of garbage. Oh, that hit me? Oh, he put down fire. Well, okay, there goes my defense. Okay, well, that was pointless. We are too close to this chest. Seriously, if the corridor gate key is not in this chest, I'm gonna throw a fit. I did not want to fight this thing, but they aggro from like square across the map. Ow, I can't see your dumb little fire dudes. We're still on his first HP bar, aren't we? Yeah. Sort ignore defense. 
perfect style. Let's go. That's right, come away from the annoying treasure chest so I can use my skills assigned to circle, please. We're off.
That was a mistake. Son of a goat.
was early. No, it wasn't. Oh, get lost, you horrible slime. gate key is not in this chest, I'm going to have an aneurysm. Ugh. So it was a giant waste of time for something I couldn't avoid. Oh! I'm, so <laughs> I'm actually mad. It's the worst place for that to be. wait for those to recharge before I can use them. Because some dingus thought uh, potions needed a cooldown. The what? Oh, the corridor gate key. Uh, it's basically how I actually move on from this floor. The next area of this dungeon. You have to find the key before you can use the, uh, the crystal to move on. And unfortunately, it was guarded by an Omega buffed monster that took me nearly 15 minutes to kill. It was actually obnoxious. Why is there a cooldown on potions? Because this game is has some annoying MMO designs and uh, dumb, dumb game design in general. It's not a long cooldown, but it's there. Ow! Confusion. Ugh. Okay. Oh no, my controls are reversed. Why does everything in from the volcano map just spawn em or aggro immediately? It's so obnoxious. Wow, this is lasting longer than normal. Can I see that confusion stat? I can. Okay, it's almost out. There it goes. Get me out of here. Whew. What's annoying, more annoying than the cooldown in general is the fact that you cannot see the potion's cooldown unless it is in your palette for some reason.
Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm thinking, why is my HP not going up? And I think uh, life conversion is still active. That's bad, uh, buff list. Yeah. Oh. So we just wasted all of those potions. I literally cannot heal right now. I really need to take that off my palate. There's never a good time to use that. <laughs> Get keys, so not that way. There we go. Okay, it looks like that's worn off. Convenient. Oh, come on. It 
be one thing if it reversed the controls of my, like, my shortcuts. Then confusion might actually be difficult to deal with. As it is, it's a hindrance. It's not a nuisance. Nothing more than a nuisance. I can't target. That's like the only really bad thing about it. Candy bracers. Oh, it wore off. Okay, I was like, what happened? Dead end? Dead end. See the gate on this floor already? I don't remember. seen a layout like this in a while, you auto-generated piece of garbage. Dude, is that Memphis? Oh my god. <laughs> it's been so long. Yeah. No, I started back up uh, Floors of Agony last week, and I'm going to try and hit it every Sunday. been a while. Alright, we have gate key already, so we don't need to bother with any of the monsters on this floor, really. Unless they do that. Ow, okay, there goes my speed boosts. Why? 
literally the second we started this run, we have been in this section of 10 floors for pretty much this entire stream, because floor one, I got aggroed by one of the, uh, the super buffed monsters with the aura, and of course, he was guarding the freaking gate key, so we had to kill him. HR in almost a year. Yeah, I don't know if it went that long for me, but I definitely didn't touch it for a while. You know my opinion on this dungeon. It just drained the life out of me. Can we get by you with these? Yes, good. Lord, <laughs> you horrible, horrible tree. What floor are we on? Okay, we got one more till boss. If it even is a boss. Ooh, come on. Gatekey me. Immediately. Do it. Boom. the life out of all of us. Yeah. Okay. Sneak doesn't work on them. I saw that they're still updating Lycris. Yeah, they are. Uh, it's, it's, it's DLC technically hasn't even come out yet. The season pass. They've had a bunch of free updates and uh, a bunch of fixes since they kind of were developing it in the midst of COVID. I'm actually kind of looking forward to what they're uh, adding to it. They did just announce uh, Philia and Straya, so they should be in the game soon. They're bringing back the spear weapon type, which I'm excited about. They uh, sped up the combat a bit ago, so that's good. Now if they could just figure out that, hey, Maybe increasing the uh, total amount of SP and bringing back, you know, actual sword skill connect would be a good idea, but we'll see. I'm kind of hoping it ends up having its own sort of uh, Warriors in the Sky styled update. That just, that is not the skill I wanted to use. Oh no. That just kind of overhauls the combat and puts it back closer to what people expect. Like you had a chance to work the newbies in. Now it's time to actually, you know, have good combat. Okay. Yep, no boss. Let's see count these, but they're gonna die in four hits. Okay, four sword skills. Yeah, um, I don't know if you ever saw, I streamed a while back the vanilla version of HR. Gosh, was that, a, it was like a year, how long ago was that now? That was like two years, I think, what the heck? Or however long ago HR came out on Switch. I streamed the vanilla version before it did. No, no, that was only last year. It wasn't before the Switch version, it was before Lycoris that I streamed the vanilla version. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So there wasn't, you weren't missing too much, but there was definitely a lot of quality of life. But the biggest one was the overhaul to the, uh, the sword skills. And so I very much hope Lycoris gets the same. Because it needs it really bad. <laughs> Because the more I play Lycoris, and then back-to-back -back between Floors of Agony, the more, 
it just sinks in that we're never gonna have another hollow tide. <laughs> Rip. I don't know, maybe I'll really like Spear though. I guess we'll have to see. Cause I'm, I haven't even hit max level right now on Lycoris. I haven't touched it. I think it's like 80 right now. Uh, combat is slow and vanilla. Yes and no. It is slower than L Warriors in the Sky. But also, still just slower in general. You can still get some pretty good SSCs going. Like, my favorite is uh, Dual Revelation is my favorite example. Because, like, uh, in vanilla, you had that, your character would go like this. And both swords, you would see them light up before he'd rush forward, and now you just rush forward. There's no starting animation for it. And you can apply that to every sword skill in the game. But it would still be relatively fa Oh, crap! Relatively fast, uh... Oh... Okay, well, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh, man. All right, we literally cannot die on this floor. We are playing it as safe as humanly possible. Because if we die, we're, we have to do that other set of 10 all over again. Ooh, boy. All right, we're just gonna rush through this 10 because I do not want to take any chances. All right, we have gate key already. We don't need, we don't owe nothing to nobody. Oh, come on, you stupid eye things. Still aggroed. Explosive Guardsman. Okay, uh, I'm behind on chat. The combat was slow and fill. Yeah, it was cool seeing the swords light up because the swords in this game look sick, besides. Oh, dude, Ethereal Heart is so good, though. Uh. Looking sword in HR, not gonna lie. I agree. Oh my gosh. I freaking love Ethereal Heart. It actually is in uh, H or AL now. As this. Most of the Paragon weapons are in AL as a, uh, a skin. And they retranslated it as Ethereal Glow, but I still think Ethereal Heart looks cooler. Or sounds cooler. Unfortunately, it's not the Awakened version, though, so it doesn't get the aura. Lame. I'd much rather be using Ethereal Heart in here, but... They made Elucidator and Dark Repulsor so freaking OP that you unfortunately are just better off using them. Yeah. I think I did a video on it or something. I don't remember. I kind of stopped <laughs> caring about the YouTube side of things at this point. It's pretty much just my archive dump. Maybe one day I'll still put out, like, actual videos on there. And I still kind of want to, but that's not going to happen for a long time, if at all. Oh, come on. Yeah, me too. Oh no, SP Drain. Will I, whatever will I do with my absolutely absurd regen? Let's see, refusal armlet. 
My, is my inventory full already? Surprisingly, no, but I also haven't been going for every single chest I see. I think I just saw the gate key, or the corridor gate, so gate key would be appreciated. You can try Genshin since you're not. <laughs> I already did. I've been. I played a good bit of Genshin. Uh, I didn't get to end game or anything like that. Mainly because I decided I didn't want to really deal with the gotcha stuff. Because there are certain characters I want, and I am not paying that thing any money. Well, any more money. I didn't spend a lot on Genshin. I think a total of maybe 20 bucks, but... I got Beidou, for whatever her name is. Pirate lady. And she's pretty cool. But I just don't like the, uh, spend a ton of money to, like, get the new character, because, boy howdy, did you not save up things for roles. And those new characters look really cool, and I just don't need... I'm not the type of person to get to, like, to fall into the gotcha trap. I don't really spend money, but I don't need to tend to the temptation regardless. Yeah, the gotcha is really bad. Like, it'd be one thing if you unlocked the character and you had the character, but, like, to get the skills, you have to roll them again... And so, like, any five-star character, you have to get that five-star character at least six times to max them out. No! <laughs> I refuse! And the stamina system? Oh, that one... At least for most of it, you can unlock by exploring, if I remember correctly, and that's fine. But, oh, wait, you mean, like, the, your typical, it's a mobile game, so you can only do so much per day. Then, yeah, that's BS. I don't like that. If it's on console, too, since it is, that should not be a thing. See if you only need to get them five times, oof. Yeah, but having to get a character multiple times in general, to me, is a big no. Okay, that way was a dead end. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna gain her the skeleton, why not? The peeps defended so much. Ah, man. Look, if you're gonna defend anything, why why bad business practices? Like, it ain't EA bad. I get it. It's a gotcha. You gotta kind of meet it halfway with what your expectations are. But at the same time, don't defend it. We all know you don't like spending money, man. <laughs> yeah, they're bad. They're annoying. Corridor gate key, there we go. Even what I've been majorly playing lately, Dragon Quest X only has two stamina things that I can think of. One of them is your uh, your alchemy pot. If you use it and make a Metal King coin to force spawn giant Metal Kings, then you can't use your alchemy pot for like a few days, but that's fine because you're never gonna really be using those very often. Apparently got his credit card stolen and thief used nearly thirty thousand dollars. Oh gosh, that's insane. Why? Why right there on the spawn point? Come on. Didn't refund? Are you kidding? That's stupid. Conferred fraudulent? That... Oh, that should be illegal, unfortunately.
I was not looking what I just picked up. Genshin rolls are expensive. They are. I think they're standard little, like, four, three ninety nine 99 thing for, like, a bunch of things gets you maybe, like, one roll, not even a full 10. Yeah. You could probably reasonably get away for it. Get away with it by treating it like a pay-to-play game and maybe spending 10 bucks on it a month and probably be okay. But I don't even want to give it that much. Well, like, it's a shame, because I really like their character designs and the art style, but, like, I'm not paying for that. I'm not paying that much for that. It'd be another thing entirely if they'd been like, hey, after, like, five rolls and, or something, and you just don't get what you want, here's a chance to just let you pick something, but... Zero roll times ten, you're guaranteed a four-star? Yeah, that would be so much nicer. Guarantee a care... Like, they have a... Genshin does have, with uh, a ten... Like, the 10 times roll, you are guaranteed a 4-star item. Uh-uh, nobody cares about the item. Guarantee the character. That's way better. Or a character. Company is really greedy. Mihoyo. They sure are. I'd be a lot more behind that if they were, like, guarantee a character. I like that, but... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. That is a wall. Oh, goody. I needed some of those. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I hadn't even thought about that till just now. I was low on potions because of that first floor. Oh, gosh. We got screwed down there. I mean, you're not guaranteed a character, some more craft essence, but the craft essences are usually good, even at four star. Fair. Yeah. Can grab the rates real quickly. Sure. Always looks so funny. Yeah, I know it's a trap chest, but I don't think I've seen one that has, like, the full four walls before. You're new to gotcha? Hey, I don't normalize. Ugh. Gosh. Okay. I'm gonna wait. Okay, you didn't... There it is. There's your attack. Get anything from that? Well, usually they drop something on death. Huh. UCW, somebody in Genshin spent 2,000 to get one item because they got. Oh. No, thank you. Rates for four-star characters are like 3%, while the craft essence are like 12%. And while it's 1% for five-star character and 4% for craft. But the fact that it's above a decimal says a lot about that versus Genshin, because Genshin has like things at .006 and garbage like that. Mm. 
But yeah, that's still... I don't play a ton of gotchas to fit at all. So I don't really have much material to compare it to. Yeah, it's bad. It's super bad. Ooh, I just remembered though. I should probably check what the uh, next time the cube updates because I haven't looked at that in, in a bit. Former Tekken Pro actually spent 5000 to max out his favorite. Oh, jeez. I wish I had that kind of money. got some range. I haven't seen that attack in so long. Oh, God. <laughs> That's mean. Oh, my gosh. Five grand so that enemies can die two seconds faster. Seriously. Ah, oh, but you got a mid max. No. <laughs> oh, gate key. Oh, perfect. How convenient. Ow. So much for that speed increase. So much for that speed increase. Jeez. Oh my goodness. I hate these things with a freaking passion. I'm not sure what I hate more. The eyeball things or the butterflies? Is it no no for real? I am on PS5, yes. Yeah, I lucked out. <laughs> One of my buddies that works at a GameStop told me that somebody hadn't picked up their pre-order and wasn't going to, so I uh, slid right in there and grabbed it a couple days after launch. 
Alright, we have gate key. Where is gate? The new Demon Slayer game? I have not. I also haven't watched a ton of Demon Slayer yet, so I might have to, uh... I didn't... The first couple episodes didn't hook me when it started, so, uh... I've heard it got, got way better, though, so maybe I'll give it a, another shot. Why? Does it look super cool, or...? There's our gate. Other way. Some people that worked on the Ninja Storm series are working on it. Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, dang. Man, I haven't played Ninja Storm in so long, though. Ow. Storm 5. Storm 5. You didn't realize the series changed edition. Oh, we got the old robe layout. We never get the old robe layout. What the heck? Ooh, that was fast. Yeah, no, we did get the Odrobe layout. That never happens. Moon, you're better than this. Oracle's Flame. I don't think I've seen that one. Dang it, no! Why couldn't you have been a grand potion? I'm out of those, almost. Ooh, a luxurious pendant. I saw SP0 on there. We'll have to check it when we get back to town, mainly because I don't have it on me, because it went to town, but... Yeah, we've got 20, we're gonna have 20 floors worth of armor to go through, oh gosh. Ah, 
corner Genki. Oh, come on! Ow. We are on 669 at the present moment. Battle Master. I got my Dragon Quest class. Okay, that doesn't reset it, so we can just walk through it. Controls go back to normal now. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's scary. Oh, no. Gotta watch that HP. These things are infamous for H, uh, for damage reflex. Infinity moment trigger. I think about four, but we're on its last one now. If you look where it says 3.7 right above it, you can see its total HP bar. It's a little small though, and the screen is kind of shaky at the moment.
Alright, let's not do another set of 10 on accident right away without saving. <laughs> be very bad. Tonal gold pieces? Huh. That's unusual. Alright, we didn't have a ton of equipment that looks like it got uh, dumped in storage. That's good. with five star bummer it's too much of a drop on the dps uh let's see attack plus 20 percent increase sword skill damage an additional 10 i think i have that cap though that's the problem flame I have not seen before. Sword skill to connect chain plus one. It caps at 33. That's useless. Plus we'd lose our SP use zero. Hmm. And this is far from a bad piece of equipment. But again, we'd lose our SP zero. We'll hold on to Oracle's gaze. That HP drop, though. Goodness gracious. Gauge, Talisman of Eternal Joy. I'm gonna be that too. Boots? That's a ring. What? <laughs> SP 
SP cost down an additional 30%. They're totally boots. Yeah, right? My HP, my SP regen is arguably too good. Hang on to that, but because uh, it might be worth equipping if I ever go get the uh, the better drop skill on Elucidator. If I remember at that point. We'll probably stop at 680. That'd be 30 floors today. mean Crescent Moon Slash, you put a stance, you put that away. That is a shield breaking attack.
<laughs> Just aggro everything, I guess. Gate key. Ah! this wasn't the most complicated floor layout I've ever seen. Getting back was not that much of an issue. Freaking Tomo? That is freaking Tomo. Insert oblivious stupid HR meme here. That's all. Bleed 300. That's pathetic. Look, if you're gonna make somewhere an anti-crystal zone, at least make me worried for my max HP. Can there be another one? Dang it, I have not seen like any chests on this floor. Save for the ones that I know are obviously trapped. There we go. Right as I say it, I see more. What's up? Not much. How you doing? do it? Did they finally lock a gate key behind these statues? They wouldn't, right? Oh, there's one more. This is probably it. Being fat, but nonetheless. A. That's good. Okay, I already have the bleed, so I'm good. I don't remember where the quarter gate key was. Not the gate key, the quarter gate then.
What have you been up to, dog? It's been a while. floors like this normally because you get turned around and you lose track of the map layout. I do not want to fight this thing and a Reaper at the same time. No freaking thank you. Oh, we lost the Reaper. That's unusual. Trapped. Victor's charm. Ah, oh, butterflies. Ah. Oh, come on. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My real stains. Such luck. Watch it be that chest that we have to figure out how to make a full circle to get to. Oh, 
you're trapped anyway. Whoop, I got too high. Go back to the other music. Guard break. day now. He didn't aggro on touch? That's weird. That's trapped. Yep. Uh, 
Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's go find it. Died with the SP burst. No. Sucks, but what can you do? It's cool. Oh, that's cruel and unusual punishment. I was going to out aggro that Reaper. <laughs> see a chest, but I'm pretty sure it's trapped. This one now, though. How are you? Well, I start a new job tomorrow. So that'll be neat. Don't know how that's gonna affect my stream schedule, but I guess we'll find out. But on that, pretty much the same. This is a mimic. How oh, we're gonna ignore him. Come on, give me that gate key. Yeah, 
Yep, trapped. Yeah, but other than a new job, just living life, I guess. Same as ever. There we go. Oh, one more. Yeah, butterflies. Oh, sweet. No boss. That is unfortunate. Okay, so it's missing the uh, the revive minus ten percent, but a stat increase is a stat increase.
And honestly, I'm at the point where if Moon dies, I'm better off just fighting by myself. I don't have time to res her anyway with the way the monsters are. I've looked at my stats with the buffs active in so long, so we're gonna do that real fast, and then we're gonna go ahead and end stream. Redeemed Hydrate. Thank you. Normally, my DPS is at 1, 11,357. My attack is 1,592. And with my defense absolutely nuked, 20,000 DPS and attack up to 3,000. That's not an incredible buff, but that's still... a lot. I can actually still take it higher. Granted, it's already worn off. Because uh, ethereal strength, imperial, em, 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 yeah. Anyway, that skill does not last very long. Man, maybe one day I'll just do a chill stream where we just walk around to this game. I freaking love this game's map. Let's see. The Sky Chapel. Is this the Floating Islands? Yeah, there we go. We checked out our equipment already, double-checked all of that.
Boom. All right. Well, I think that does it for this week of Thousand Floors of Agony. Whew. We made it to 681. That's where we'll start next time. Meaning, uh, we're almost to 700. Lord, 300 floors left. Kill me. But if we do 20 every Sunday, that's good progress. That's all I, that's all I can ask for. So yeah, until next time, have a good one, guys.